already know the Numi, right? Yes. The Numi PS5. Yes. Decent size, not really small. Okay, so this is size comparison. Yeah. Pretty small. Pretty small. Yeah, I mean, not super duper small. I think it's about small. the same size as this one that I'm showing here. All right. This is the Arendel, their 1961 little bookshelf. Ooh. I mean, this thing it's is small, nice. dude. It looked nice. Mm -hmm. Sealed? It just, yeah, yeah, it's sealed. Yeah, this is the back of it. You can hang yeah. it on the wall, too, if you wanted to. Those look um, cool. Dude, these things are solid, too. Yeah. But I think they're 800 bucks a pair. It's like, whoo. There it is. Mm -hmm. You're getting there. Chopping. But they, they sound good. Like, it's one of those speakers where you listen to them, and you don't really have a lot to say because nothing stands out. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and to me, for me, that's a good thing. If I, don't, if I start hearing stuff, then it's usually because I don't like it. You know? Yeah. Otherwise, I'm okay with it, so. But yeah, I just wanted to show that because it's a it's a whole lot smaller. When I got the packages, I was like, "This is the box. Uh, maybe this is just one." And they forgot to send the other one. And I opened it up, both of them were in there. I was like, well, all right then. Yeah. But they do they do the dang thing. I will say that very little compression. So they're they're really good until about eighty hertz. And then when when you get to eighty hertz, it's like, well, but that's okay because it's yeah. super small. You can mount it on a wall. You can put it on a stand. Do whatever. Is there it? Is there an objective measurement that you can use to say, like, you know what? If you have these speakers, you know, these are small speakers, right? Like the BS, BS, what are the BS? What are the BS fives? The newbies? BS five. They're all yeah. BS. This is a BS. Yeah, a bunch of BS. Forty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, um, this is kind of a oh. good replacement if you can't find the Pioneer. Um, oh yeah, the what? Yeah, it, the I can't remember the model. BS twenty two LRs. Yeah, well, another yeah. BS and BS bookshelf. Show bookshelf, by the way. Yeah. Yes. So the those are no longer, I guess, going to be available. I mean, look, but I thought they've been on the. I mean, Andrew left the company long time ago, long, <laughs> long time, time ago. ago. And like, least, I'm not surprised that they keep producing it. But at some point, I figure they might have just said, "Okay, well, now let's go on to the next thing." But I guess if it's just one of their better sellers, then yeah. yeah. Well, I guess those are not available anymore. And yeah. so those are around this price range. If you can't find those, this is kind of the replacement, I guess. Yeah. These so, ones that I'm showing you. Yeah, Croissant makes a good point. I agree. I, there's a lot of, but I'll say this too. There's a lot of times where I have towers that are kind of like their Rindals. I don't know how you pronounce it, but whatever mm -hmm. they are, that they put the the tweeter or the prime listening axis like down a one. little bit below. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, do you expect? So the Rindals, they're fine because like I said, they're angled. So it actually winds up, Shooting up toward you, and I'm going. To, that's going to be fun when I go to explain the measurements because people are going to say, "Well, it's tilted down." I'm like, "Well, they're aimed up, so in the listening position, you're above the tweeter axis." Anyway, that's a different thing. But mm -hmm. uh, no, he makes a good point. But well, I guess what I was going to say is, when you get speakers that are like that, then it's like, okay, now I got to go find a cinder block, mm -hmm. or I got to go build yeah. like a base mm -hmm. to put them on. It's yeah. like, why even bother yeah. at that point? Yeah. Jeremy said he 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 uses something. I saw it a minute ago, but um. You know, um, what, uh, you know, Croissant says here, towers, S surrounds, because by the time you buy stands and bookshelves, you may end up with the same. You generally don't put cheap stands under expensive. I don't know, man. I bought some, some side, uh, my surround speakers. There are those stands are like 130 a pair. And I put some very expensive speakers on there. Like those, uh, M, those Miller and Kreisel speakers. Well, those are like $800 a pop. Which, you know? which ones? The uh, tripole or dipole surround the I wonder somebody series. Some oh yeah, somebody sent me some of their stuff. Uh, yeah, so. I'm, I'm I'm on their list for their new subwoofers. They said like January, February, or whatever. For oh their, yeah, I did see those. They're yeah, they're supposed yeah. to have like the THX rating. I don't know if it's the Dominus one. Or the so. 15 inch is the Dominus one. Okay, okay. I think the 12 inch is what I I asked them to send me. Because okay, that's. Just, I was just, just easier. I was me. just recalling. I thought I saw that the one so, of them has a Dominus on it. So. so don't, so so don't, so you know, Croissant, like you know, you know I, I might put some cheap ass speaker stands there because <laughs> I'd rather spend more money on the speakers than the speaker stands. But so, yeah. so I've got uh, cinder Aaron, blocks under mine. Those uh, that one <laughs> that one that measurement that you do. Sorry, what you know that measurement that you do that shows the compression? Yeah, yeah. at uh, various uh, dB. Right. What happens if you cut it off at 80 hertz? Does that change the whole profile or no? Not? No, because it's no. it's just per frequency. So it's not like mm -hmm. a like a multi-tone test. You're basically measuring just one frequency when you do the sweep. So I wouldn't expect I would not expect it to change that measurement if you started at 80 hertz and have it go to 20 kilohertz, as opposed to starting it at 20 
and having it go to 20 kilohertz. Well, what, sense? I, I'm just wondering if it would, because like if you're starting off at 20, if it's heating up the coil by the time it gets to 80, might be it's warm well, already. I know? think it's so fast that it probably, I mean, I, I could test it, I guess. It's a, it's a fair question, but. I'm just, just kind of curious about that. Yeah, yeah. I, I would think that a more telling test is going to be one that's like a multi-tone test, because I've done that before where you played it broadband from 20 to 20. Mm -hmm. And then you've seen what it does, but then you cut it off at 80 and play it 80 to 20. And you can see a clear difference between the, the two measurements. Because speaking of Andrew Jones, I remember him telling me one time that he was able to get different measurements by doing a sweep from low to high versus high to low because of uh, the voice coil heating up. But I don't know how long the tone was. Yeah. Things like that. But maybe. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go, Croson. Last purchase, 2018, $69. There it is. Vivo. There it is. <laughs> mono price ones, too. I've, I've, I've while put, back. They were nice. I've, yeah. I've put mono every, ones. yeah. Every bookshelf speaker that's come through here has been has sat on these stands. Yep. So 69 bucks. That's it. That's it, man. Yeah. I for real use center blocks under my, my mains in my home theater. I think, I think, I think, I mean, uh, I think I'm going to center block. 